G'day everyone, Endurance Aaron here, and we've got a surprise for you. It is time to give back. So I'm gonna be giving away this Manta Sound Sleep Mask valued at 143 pound for free. And that's why I partnered with Manta Sleep Masks, as sleep is one of my favorite activities, right? All you have to do is two things. But first, let's tell you more about this. So the mask here on the front, as you can see, it comes with your on off button, as well as a way of controlling your volume up and down. The mask is also USB chargeable, so you've got your USB cord here with up to 20 hours of battery life. The razor thin speakers which connect to your Bluetooth are on the outside of the mask around your ear area and they can be adjusted to suit the shape of your head. They are fully blackout eye cups, so when you've got this on, you cannot see a thing. We also have the nice adjustable Velcro strap here at the back. The mask is also really well designed in order to provide for side sleeping so you don't get that discomfort on the side of your head. So what do you need to do to win this amazing mask? Well, you need to do two simple things. It's that easy. First up, you just need to subscribe to my YouTube channel. So hit that subscribe button down the bottom here. That's the first step, nice and easy. Second thing you're gonna do is just as simple as having a guess. All I want you guys to do is have a guess in the comments below what you think my race time will be for the 100K London to Brighton coming up on May the 25th. And the closest guest wins this mask. I'll then personally send this mask to you, valued at 143 pound, absolutely free. Right, before you get your guesses in the comments below, let's talk about a couple of factors that could influence my race either positively or negatively. These are all gonna help with your guess. Let's start with the positives. I know this course, I have run it before. I'm also a lot more experienced than I was 12 months ago. I've done so many endurance events over the past year. My time last year, to give you a little bit of help, was 16 hours, 11 minutes, and 20 seconds. And another thing is no one's meeting me in the aid stations this year. So last year I was met by people in the aid stations and I spent a total of 90 minutes in aid stations throughout the day. This year with no one meeting me there, am I gonna spend as much time there? Probably not. So they're just a couple of positives that could help speed up my race. Let's talk about the negatives. Sleep deprivation, of course. How is that gonna affect me getting off the third longest flight in the world having worked that? Will I sleep on board? How am I gonna feel 20, 30, 40, 50 Ks into the race? Am I gonna to wanna to keep going? Will I need to stop for a sleep? Will my ultra from the weekend up in Snowdonia, the hardest race of my life, impact me on race day? Will I be recovered in time? Right now, I'm still pretty sore and we're 10 days away. So these are just some of the factors that could influence it positively and negatively. I've given you an even balance there. As I said, I finished in 16 hours, 11 minutes and 20 seconds last year. So best of luck, everyone. Don't forget, subscribe to my channel and get your guesses in the comments below. And come May 25th, when I set off on my run, after the race, I'll publish the official time and the closest to that official time will win this amazing Manta Sleep Sound Mask valued at 143 pound. Alternatively, if you would like to purchase one of the Manta Sleep Masks, visit www.mantasleep.uk and just type in Endurance Aaron in the code section at the checkout area and you'll receive a discount. Happy sleeping everyone and remember your recovery is as important as training itself. <laughs> Hey, what is my bed? What are you talking about?